In this segment, we're going to demonstrate the ease of terminating our LMR 1200 cable with the standard end mail EZ connector, our EZ 1200 NMH connector. First of all, we'll disassemble the connector. We have a back nut, an O ring, a gland washer, knurled collar, the spring finger contact, and the forward part of the connector body. With the cable, the first thing we're going to want a nice flush square cut in the cable. That's, that's very important to start out with. Next, we would take uh, the back body, slide it onto the cable, take the O-ring, roll that onto the cable, roll it back. Then take the same tool that we used for the uh, LMR900, but the other side would be the ST1200 clamp tool, strip tool. Place that over the cable, and with a gentle turning motion, just cut away the jacket until the tool spins freely, like so. Take the tool off. At this point, you take the gland washer with the larger opening facing the cable, and just slide that right over the cable, like so. At this point, we just take this braid and just pull the braid back away from the shield. Now this is a DB cable and once you get it started it'll, it'll be almost like a hinge. It'll all just fold away from the shield. Just like that, just like so. You now take the knurled collar and place that with the small side facing the cable right over the shield. Like that. You now take your spring finger contact put that into the the center conductor, and what you want to do, you may need a little extra um, force to push that in. A good thing to use is the back side of the deburring tool, the wooden handle, and you don't want to bang on it, but just gently just butt it up against the pin and apply a little pressure. It just snaps in like so, very easily. Now you take the O ring, slide the O ring up, and butt it up against the back of the gland washer. Take the back half of the connector. Bring that all the way up. Place the front half of the connector over the pin, like so. And turn as you as you push up. Continue to push up on the back half of the connector. And bring the bring the two halves together. Just, just screw them together like so. At this point, I'm going to take your wrenches. You can have an inch and seven sixteenths wrench. Apply it to the front half of the connector, and you have an inch and nine sixteenths wrench that you can apply to the back half of the connector. And just torque that O-ring until the O-ring uh, starts to compress, just like so. At this point, this is your finished product. You have a very easy to install, weather tight, completely weather tight uh, connector termination. You have an O ring here between the two connector bodies. You have the O ring that we put on earlier that protects the back half of the connector body from moisture penetration. And you also have a gasket inside the interface itself. And that is the finished product.